This century is the century of technology. We are living in a world where technology has taken our lives and caught us in the spell. Hey folks, welcome to our channel. In today's video, you will learn about an interesting but dangerous technology that is changing the lives of famous people. Let's start the video. Deep fakes are videos that are created by swapping faces or manipulating images. Obviously, these are fake videos, but it's very difficult to identify. Are you curious to know about the history of deep fake? Let's jump together into the history of deep fake terms. Deep fake is a combination of deep learning and fake. Actually, image manipulation was developed in the 19th century. After that, technology improved during the 20th century and more quickly with the advent of digital video. The deep fake technology was developed in the 1990s by researchers at academic institutions. More recently, the method has been adopted by the industry. Fast forward. In August of 2018, researchers at the University of California introduced a fake dancing app that can create the impression of a masterful dancing ability using AI by publishing a paper. Previously, experts just focused on the head or parts of the face, but this project expands the application of deepfakes to the entire body. The term deepfake originated by a Reddit user named Deepfake around the end of 2017. After that, many people shared the deepfake videos. Mostly, the videos involve celebrities' faces being swapped onto the bodies of actresses in pornographic videos. And after that, the use of deepfake became very dangerous. After the evolution of AI, this dark deepfake technology became more dangerous even though it can ruin the lives of famous people. It's very difficult to discern which is the real and which is the deepfake video. People can be designed to harass, intimidate, demean, or undermine people. It can also create misinformation and confusion about important issues. This technology can fuel other unethical actions, such as creating revenge porn, where women are disproportionately harmed. You've probably seen deepfake funny or odd videos of famous people on the internet, like a fake Tom Cruise doing industrial cleanup. Cybersecurity experts say deepfake technology has advanced to the point where it can be used in real time in different fraudulent activities. Deepfake users can easily create fake audios or videos of anyone just by swapping their faces. Real-time deepfakes have been used to scare and threaten old people by sending fake messages such as from a relative and then they can easily gain the inside information of the lonely men and women and steal their money. Fraudsters can copy a recording of someone's voice that's been posted online. Then they use the captured audio to impersonate a victim's loved ones. My voice copied to scam you, Mom. Mom, I'm in trouble. I, I need you to send me money, please. One 23-year-old man is accused of swindling grandparents in Newfoundland out of $200,000 in just three days by using deepfake. Criminals can leverage deepfakes to steal credentials by impersonating IT staff or high-level executives in video audio formats. These attacks could target employees or even automated systems that authenticate based on voice recognition. The possible risk in online deepfake scams can threaten cybersecurity, political elections, individual and corporate finances, reputations, and more. A deepfake seeks to deceive viewers with manipulated fake content. Its creators want you to believe something was said or it happened that never actually occurred, often to spread misinformation and for other malicious purposes. And yes, the movie industry has used the deepfake technology for special effects and animations. But nowadays, deepfake technology is now being used for nefarious purposes, including scams, celebrity pornography, election manipulating, social engineering, automated disinformation attacks, identity theft, and fraud. If you've come this far in the video and like our content, please like the video and consider subscribing. Now, let's get back to the video. Companies are always concerned about several scams that rely on deepfake technologies, including supercharging scams. In supercharging scams, deepfake audio is used to pretend the person on the other line is a higher up. Where deepfake technology is used to commit crimes like financial fraud, almost all of these scams rely on an audio deepfake. Audio deepfake creates what are known as voice skins or clones that enable them to pose as a prominent figure. Social media posts supported by convinced manipulators have the potential to misguide and inflame the internet-connected public. Deepfake technology provides the media that helps fake news appear real. Deepfakes are used on social media platforms, often to produce strong reactions. Consider a Twitter profile that's volatile, 
aiming for all things political and making outrageous comments to create controversy. Is the profile connected to a real person? How is deepfake made? It can be created more than one way. Generative adversarial networks, commonly known as GAN, can be used for face generation. It produces faces that otherwise don't exist. GAN uses two separate neutral networks or a set of algorithms designed to recognize patterns that work together by training themselves to learn the characteristics of authentic images so they can produce convincing fake ones. The two networks engage in a complex interplay that interprets data by labeling, clustering, and classifying. One network generates the images, the other network learns how to distinguish fake from original photos. The algorithm developed can then train itself on pictures of a real person to generate fake images of that real person, and then turn those images into a convincing fake video. Another system is an artificial intelligence algorithm known as an encoder. Encoders are used in face swapping or image manipulating technology. First, you run thousands of face shots of two people through the encoder to find similarities between the two images. Then a second artificial intelligence algorithm or decoder retrieves the face images and swaps them. After that, a person's real face can be superimposed on another person's body. Now, the question is how many images you need to create a deepfake. Creating a convincing deepfake face swap video may require thousands of face shots to perform the encoding and decoding noted in the section previously mentioned. To produce a person that looks real, you also need images that display a wide range of characteristics, like facial expressions and angles, along with the proper lighting. That's why celebrities or public figures are good choices for creating deepfakes. For creating deepfakes, softwares require a large data set, but new technology may make creating deepfake videos easier. Did you know what software technology is used to create high-quality deepfake? You can easily generate deepfakes in various ways. Computing power is essential. Most deepfakes are created on high-end desktops, not standard computers. Newer automated computer graphics and machine learning systems enable deepfakes to be made more quickly and cheaply. The software technology mentioned is one example of how new methods are fostering speed. The types of software used to generate deepfakes include open source Python software, such as FaceSwap and DeepFace Lab. FaceSwap is free, open source, multi platform software. It can run on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. How to spot a deepfake? Is it possible to even spot a deepfake? Poorly made deepfake videos may be easy to identify, but yeah, higher quality deepfakes can be challenging. Continuous advances in technology make detection more difficult. Specific telltale characteristics can help give away deepfake videos, including unnatural eye movement, a lack of blinking, unnatural facial expression, unnatural body shape, synthetic hair, abnormal skin colors, awkward head and body positioning, bad lip syncing, etc. Researchers are developing technology that can help identify deepfakes. How can you protect yourself from deepfakes? We know everyone wanted to protect themselves from deepfakes. Here are some ideas to help you protect against deepfakes on a personal level. If you're watching a video, be sure it's from a reputable source before believing its claims or sharing it with others. If you get a call from someone, make sure the person on the other end of the line is really your relative or your boss before taking any action. Don't believe everything you see or hear on the web. I hope you learn deeply about deepfakes and how dangerous they can be. Stay safe from deepfake AI technology and don't forget to subscribe to the Hacker's Journal. Also, hit that notification button to get all the informative videos from us. Thank you so much.